Hello everyone, Michael Chave here from the Morning Cough Review Series here today to give you a quick tip on how to use the batch slip sheet feature in Review Extreme. I'm gonna be doing this in Review 20. And what is this slip sheet feature in batch for that instance? What this allows us to do is if we have an older set and we need to combine it with a new revised set, we can slip sheet in all of our revised sets into our older set. Or what we can have review do is remove the older PDFs and slip in the new PDFs. Those are some options that we can go through. And today we are gonna go and dive right in and show you how this can be done. All right, so now that I have review open, we're gonna go to the batch tab again. I'm in review extreme. This is part of review extreme for the batch feature. So I'm gonna hit the batch drop down. I'm gonna have the slip sheet option. So I'm gonna go through and select this. Then a new window is going to populate. Now this window has some options. So you get to first select your current files. So I'm gonna go through and hit add, grab my files that I want to add. Now, what I do is I copy over these original ones to a new location here. Control V. Reason why is this original one is going to be overwritten with the new sets slipped into the older set. So just be aware of that. But this is going to be my old set, so my current set, and then my revised set. So I'm going to go back and grab my revised file set right here. Hit OK. Now I have the option of going through and doing some more options. So on this first current page, let's talk about it. It has one through six. My revise has one through five. So what we're going to see is an unmatched PDF because my revised set only had revisions on one through five and my old set had one through six. So one page is not gonna match because it wasn't revised. And we'll go through and talk about that once we get to our next little window. For this instance down here, how is it going to match our PDFs together? Currently right now, this is going to match by file name, page index, uh, or you could do page label, page region, or manually um, connect one another, whichever ones you think match. Now what I can do here is say match pages. You can also load batch or save batch if this is something you're going to do all of the time so you have those options, but I'm going to hit match. And here's my new window. So at the top you have match pages. So which pages did match by page label or which ones did not match. So first I have one through five here and one through five here. So these did match, they look like the same name. I look good here. The other one is unmatched. So if there was another one over here that was kind of similar but different name, you could manually match them. You would just select one and the other here and then hit match pages but I know there was no update to this page, so it's just going to be an unmatched page, still part of my entire set. Go back to match pages here. And again, if something wasn't matched and you wanna remove it, you have those options. Now below, what are we going to do? So I have my revised files and my current files, right? So these need to be combined somehow into my current set. What can I do? So under options, you can insert revise, so insert these ones before the current pages or replace current pages with revised pages. So you have two options here. Now, if I do insert revised pages before current page, what can I do? I can copy markups from current pages to revised, which is great. I don't have to go and import markups. Um, and maybe I need to even know I can copy markups from one PDF to the next, right? This is a great option. So you don't have to rework your markups. Next one is if they were flattened from your current set, it'll unflatten the markups before, then put them onto your revised set. And if you want them to be flattened after you're on your revised set, you are more than welcome to with this option here. Next one is stamp pages with uh, superseded. So for this option, just be aware, this is only if you do the insert method, if you do the replace, you don't get that option, of course, because it's removing these and then adding these ones in there. Okay, so I'm gonna do the insert with superseded. I'm gonna hit okay. Now, if I wanted to at the end, it'll allow me to open up a report. So it'll open up these files. Well, the report, it won't open up the files. It'll just create a summary report, which you can then click to open up the file. It's up to you. 
I'll just do the summary report just for this instance. Uh, you can create a detailed report. Is it going to be a CSV or a PDF? You have some settings here if you wanted to do that, right? It's going to create hyperlinks, stamp date. That's fine with me. Where's it going to put this folder to? So I'm just going to actually bring this to my desktop. That's fine with me. Batch summary, overwrite the existing file. There is one already there. And then open file after creation. Yes. Why did I do this? Because all I have to do is click this PDF. Because again, it overwrites this PDF. That was that original one that I was talking about in that folder structure. So now I just have to click this and it brings me open to the page. Let's go to the first page here. So this was the revised page and I can split screen so we can see this. This was a revised page and I'm not going to synchronize the views. I have the quick option down here. You can also go to view and make sure they're not synchronized. So this will be the first page that was revised. The second page was not revised. As you can see, it's now marked with superseded. Let me go to the next one. Here's the uh, old PDF set, right? Obviously some changes in here. S1, S1, superseded, new set. So this is that interweaving of them. You could have replaced them if you wanted to. It will bring markups over from one set to the next. Let's see if I have any in here. Yep, so there was the markup from that original set. Let's go to four. And now it's over here. Same exact location brought over. So just be aware of that. You do have the option to bring your markups from one PDF set to the next. But thank you all for tuning in today for my quick tip on how to use the batch slip sheet method. Again, in the review extreme version only for review 20. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area. If not, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out. And thank you in for tuning. Thank you for tuning in today for my quick tip on how to use the batch slip sheet. Till next time, I'll see you then.